Deborah? Hello. Good morning. Is this still morning? I think it is. Just. 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 <laughs> oh, talk. Is it right time? Emily? Hi. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, thank you for inviting me to the fish pond. Pleasure. Such a funny name. <laughs> this is a junior house, right? Yes, this is the junior house which takes girls from um, prep four, mm -hmm. uh, which is sort of age eight, up to um, year eight, um, which is girls around. How many girls do you have in this uh, in this house? Uh, we have a maximum of twelve over here. There's a feel like it's someone's house, mm. isn't it? So yeah, it's a, such so. a cozy place. This is a common uh, room and the kitchen. To well, probably not eight years old, but you help them to cook. Maybe uh, yes, they, they, yeah, we, they we always have um, bread and jam and butter, so they can make snacks in the evenings if they need to, and they can make hot drinks. Um, but being in this area they're constantly supervised so even the younger girls can start to become a bit more independent more independent yeah yeah uh deborah you are head of boarding That's in right. this corner correct to say that one of the um, i'm an agent so we work with international students and uh, one of the main points which or questions which asked by uh, uh, parents is safety mm -hmm. I know that uh, the uh, school itself, the campus, is uh, in the middle of the countryside. Yes. So in this respect, uh, you don't have like strangers uh, walking <laughs> around the campus here. No, you... and um, we're, we're very much in a setting where all of the doors have codes on. Um, the girls know mm -hmm. which code. There are certain codes that they are allowed to know so they can come and go. Um, they have to sign in and out of the boarding houses. Um, they have to let us know where they're going and when. And we're, we're very because it's a small boarding house and it's intentionally so. Um, it means that we can have a good relationship with the girls. They can come, come in and tell us, I'm going to go and play tennis, I'm going to go and use the music rooms. Um, they have a lot of freedom because we are able to know where they are at any given time, really. This is such a safe environment. It is, it? yes. So you know where they are at all times. Yes. Uh, this is very good. And um, you have uh, day students which sometimes invite uh, boarding students uh, to their homes yes. for sleepovers. Yes. Is, is this true? That's right. Um, and, and again, we work very much as a, a middle person. So if a day girl is invited, then we will speak to the day girl's parents and we will talk to our boarders' parents to make sure that both Or maybe guardians. Or the or guardians. And just to make sure that the invitation is real. And, and again, from a security point of view, we know that um, they are going where they say they're going, which is very important. To I us think it's well. a very good idea mm. for them to mix as well. It's lovely, and, and, and it's a really, really good opportunity, particularly for the girls from overseas. Um, to understand the culture. As yeah, well, understand living in another person's family for a weekend, yes. for example, having more time speaking English and in a different setting than school. So it's a lovely opportunity when they when they go away to see friends. Just before coming to see you, I spoke to two really lovely Russian girls, yes. Alex and Adele, and yeah. they, they gave me only positive feedback. So they said, we love the school, it's such a, a very good relationship with students, with yeah. everyone in the school, even girls among themselves, as all get along very, very well. Yeah. In, in yes. the so this is the environment which you're aiming for. Yeah, absolutely. That's what we're trying to nurture, because being a small community, we, we put a real emphasis on mixing, not just within your own age group, but with girls of other ages. And it, it's I see like you mixed them a, too? Yes, but because we have girls ranging here from age 8 up to 13, and then over in the main mansion house they go all the way up to 6th form. And mm. um, there are opportunities where both houses come together to do things together. Um, and we have headboarders who are also involved with the younger girls. Mm -hmm. um, so it's very important to us that there's some kind of sisterliness that happens um, because sometimes younger girls need to look up to someone older um, to, it's to be a, able it's to a see good, good idea. Yeah. Um, do, do they get homesick, some of them? Some of the little ones do, yeah. The little ones do, yeah. Um, but again, like Debs was saying, they look to the older girls, so it's good that the older girls can help them if they need to. Yeah, it's, it's natural. At, yeah. at, it some is point, natural. at some point, they're going to get homesick. Sometimes it doesn't happen until several weeks in, sometimes mm -hmm. it's in the first week. But there's always someone older there that's been through the same thing. And it's not, it's very special that the girls can help each other through it. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, the younger girl, Alex, uh, mentioned that uh, you have uh, a lot of rabbits here. Well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which... Being in the countryside, we have a lot of rabbits. Yeah. Yeah. So they're, they're boarding at the school as well, are they? <laughs> don't pay fees, though. No, no don't pay fees. <laughs> oh, fine. This is a discrimination. <laughs> It, this this environment, uh, in my opinion, is uh, this connection with the nature. Mm. It does help a lot mm. because for uh, girls of this age, eleven years old, she is so 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 young. Yeah. And uh, when I asked her, "Are you homesick?" she said, "No." She, she did you say, no? yeah. "Were you a bit nervous when you joined the school?" No. I don't know. Maybe she's, <laughs> she's different to others, I th I think or maybe she, she's something very you yeah. maybe something you did as well. I so. like to think so. <laughs> <laughs> she fitted in very quickly as well, which is really nice. She's a very confident. She, yeah, she's in this oh, house. Okay, well, so yeah, she's a very why. confident girl as well, which helps. <laughs> do they do they talk to their parents often? Yeah, when they can. The uh, junior girls can't take their phones to school. So when they come back, That's they can talk idea. to That's their parents as much as they like. So they can Skype them as well? Yeah. They keep, well, okay, it's, yeah. It's, it's quite important. Do parents come, visit them sometimes? Um, yeah, in Exiat, sometimes family, not sometimes not always parents, but family come. Babushka. It, you know babushka? In Russian, it's grandma. Ah, babushka, babushka. okay. Yeah, Alex's grandma comes yeah, loads. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, babushka comes yeah. loads, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she um, looks after Alex quite a lot in the holidays. Um, and then in the longer holidays, parents tend to, tend to come out, which is really mm. nice. And they're always very excited. <laughs> I have an eight-year-old uh, daughter myself. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to be speaking to my wife because we're looking uh, uh, at some schools, girls-only schools. Mm. But we're thinking 12 years old is mm. a good start. So possibly with uh, my next visit, I will be bringing my bringing daughter, your daughter with yeah, you, right? and, and, Fantastic. And, and my wife because so far I like everything I see. Yeah. And uh, this uh, uh, human factor here is very strong. That we are very very positive. Everyone who I spoke to today, it's uh, and I see the girls they all smiling. Mm. Yeah. Because I think it does reflect. If uh, uh, stuff that. People who look after them are happy. They're happy too. Mm. I think we're all very passionate about school. I think that comes it through helps. quite often. Yeah. My, my daughter is also at school here. Oh, is she? My, really? my daughter's eight. Um, really? So she's in year three, and um, she is she's so happy. She's been here since um, reception. So I, I have both sides. I I'm here as a staff member, but as a parent, I'm also very as happy. A yeah. As well as a parent. Yeah. Okay. Well, very nice talking to you. Thank you, you too, very thank much. You. Thank, thank you.